Welcome back to The Horror Companion, where today we're going to watch the second episode of Hysteria, which is titled Die Young. Hopefully you were with me on the first one, but if you weren't, I welcome you to my channel. Hopefully after today, I can gain your subscription. To give you a quick rundown of my feelings on the first episode, I really enjoyed it. My only critique, there wasn't enough Bruce Campbell, but hopefully that changes today. So I have the clock set at double zero, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click play. I'm going to count down from three, and I'm going to click play. So... Hopefully you have it queued up and we're ready to go. In three, two, one. And got the cock logo. Dylan is bleeding in a police station, it looks like. Yep, handcuffed. Ah, oh, Bruce, right off the bat. Nice. <laughs> the dog looks hungry. Hand. Foot. Oh. It wasn't, say, the first thing that comes to mind game. <laughs> Mo, Larry, and Curly. What's the name of your band? Dick Punch. Death Crunch. Oh, Death Crunch. So close. So you carved a pentagram into your hand to impress some guys. It was either that or punch myself in the dick. God, Bruce is awesome. <laughs> Some Black Sabbath. This is Ronnie James Dio when he was with Black Sabbath. Oh, shit. He's, like, really fucked up. 
Oh, dang. Woo. Okay, we're at the intro. I'm not skipping the intro. I'm going to let it play out. Created by Matthew Scott Kane. I like what you're doing so far, Mr. Kane. Yeah, don't tell your parents. <laughs> people are scared and scared people do scary things even the good ones that's a great quote that's a great quote and true they're never worth it it's probably gonna be ugly oh shit <laughs> Irony. Wow. <laughs> I didn't, I thought she was going to be like super ugly or I, I didn't expect it to be the, the, ch the Mia Goth lookalike. It just so happened to cut my hand into the shape of a pentagram. Because he's dead. There it is. Yeah, I wonder what's going to happen with her. I mean, she, clearly some wild shit just happened at the end of the last episode. So I wonder, like, if she's going to have, like, crazy visions and shit. Something about that lady, the, the mom, just rubs me the wrong way.
I am completely 100% okay. That means she's 100% not okay. Even in real life, not just in movies or TV shows. What the fuck? <laughs> Spud's awesome, man. I love Spud. Did they read him his rights? I mean, that might have been skipped over, but I, I, I don't know. I don't remember that. Anyone can die at any moment. I don't think that's real to you yet. We're going to see in this series. Let's see how true that statement is. Ba, 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 ba. Some people say infamy is better than fame itself. Okay, I'm at a commercial right now. I, you would have thought she gave the statement that she was kidnapped. It was the Court of Owls.
Yeah, you better hope she doesn't. I'm telling you, this bitch is up to no good. Don't let those pearl chain for her glasses, don't let that fool you. Oh, his inhaler. Mm-hmm. 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 That's gnarly. Damn, Savage, she's just going to go to school. People were built different in the 80s. It's a mental toughness that we just, society doesn't have anymore. It's crazy. When I was in high school, we had, there was like a, a ton of people that died from like car accidents and stuff. I remember shit like this kind of hits home a little bit. Don't believe everything you see on TV, sir. We're not prepared to discuss it. Amen. It's almost too obvious. It's almost too obvious. This is what we parents are up against. It just says Spud's house on the bottom. People never seem to understand active investigation and what the public needs to know and what the public wants to know. Ooh. Now go sit the fuck down. Tracy Shithead. That's what I would call her. She's a great actress. I'll give her that. 
she's making me hate her every time I see her on sc on, on the screen. <laughs> that doesn't help. <clears throat> I already told you I'm not afraid of you. Or you. Or whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, you got punk. That's two for flinching. really sacrifice Ryan and Satan to get rich and famous? Well, they don't have the rich or f fame. So obviously that sacrifice didn't work. Chick's a freak. And I'm at another commercial. We're back. That guy does not look like a priest.
He's only 17. 17. It's a good question. It's fair. It's been a while since we did this, huh? Oh, it's one of those stories. They were friends growing up, and then sh one got popular and one got weird. What's the difference? Eyeshadow? Why do people think Satanists killed him? Seriously? What, does your mom still not let you watch TV? Uh, I'm telling you. When they found Ryan, it was, like, pretty grisly. Like, ritualistic, even, you know? I'm sure she really wants to hear that. See? So mom knew she was messing around with that dude. And then that was, yeah. Okay. I, I'm way more sold now. I, I don't still don't understand the supernatural aspect. But um, yeah, I'm way more sold that mom's involved. Ooh, that's embarrassing. I'm telling you, the 80s are different. Damn, dude's pretty swole. Hey, QB, Coach will tuck you in at night. <laughs> That's no way to treat your quarterback.
Like, what the hell are you doing, Spud? <laughs> Witness pure evil? Seriously? Oh, he's hitting him with the conspiracy theories. Okay, now everybody knows it was Stan. I agree. He knows that, but... That's a good line for a song. Man, Bruce is awesome, but his character is written so good. I mean, his execution is, is even better, but that would be the small town sheriff that you would hope would uh, oversee your, your town. I don't trust his mustache. I don't trust it. And why is he wearing fucking gloves? All of a sudden, I'm describing myself. He's got a mustache and wearing gloves during the daytime. You see that? Her trying to hide that smile. Like she's almost getting off on this kind of. Is there anything else you want to share with me? I mean, it would make sense. She wants to know how much she remembers. If you do remember anything, anything at all, you just have your mom get in touch with me, okay? Uh-huh. They're in cahoots. The bad, his nameplate should be on the other side, by the way, and the badge is supposed to be over the left heart. So maybe he's not an actual cop after all. Ooh! That caught me off guard. <laughs>
Hmm. I hope we get to see the escape, right? That's a, that'll be a good tension building moment. Commercial. We're back. Hi, I'm Johnny Cash. He better not play a fucking song at the funeral. Or try, at least, to play a song. Why do you think everybody hates you? You don't understand. It's called this thing. I tried to sacrifice a cat, but instead I cut my hand. Really didn't go over well with the audience. Hmm. Oh, shit. Called it. I'm trying to think. He reminds me of somebody. Like if they did a... Like he would be the perfect person for a certain role. And it's not clicking in my head yet. Are you okay? Oh, it's just Satan communicating with her. It's not really the best social environment, but do your bidding, kid. Nice death shroud. Mm, that's an interesting outfit. Looks like uh, Luke Skywalker in Return of the Jedi. Ha, 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 ha. 
<laughs> Spud. God, I hope Spud lives. Ash Ketchum, Pokemon. I think he would make a great live action Ash. Ironically, the other Ash is in this film. Who's that? Thought it was a high school kid. That motherfucker looks like he's been in Congress eight years. telling you man she's like she always looks like she's getting off like she's doing wreaking all the havoc and she knows it and she's getting away with it Oh, no. I mean, I know it's got to happen, but God damn, would I do everything I could to avoid the parents knowing how word spreads like wildfire. Ah, he's doing what the sheriff told him. Nice. Shit just got real. Oh, she got it too? She was, t she touched, I guess, by the demon or the spirit or whatever. Oh, fuck. She wants to punch his fucking teeth in. Oh, maybe not. Oh, no, she wants his... <gasps> oh, shit. The chief in this bitch. Break it up. Oh, fuck. Ooh, battery on a miner. Take her to the hoose gal. Come on, Bruce. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Jesus wept. Where's Hellraiser when you need him? Holy shit. Commercial break. Back from commercial. Well, clearly mom knows she was up to no good. Might want to turn your lights off, lady. Drain your battery. What's that? Condoms. Well. You know what he says about Happy Hollow? That's perfectly named. Because in a town this small, you're either one or the other. It's really good writing. She's trying to hitch a ride on his wagon if he gets famous. It's a dope guitar. Yep. I want one of those. Fitting for someone who's in a death metal band. <laughs> Has a pentagram on their hand. And he joined the band Aerosmith. Well, that's sweet. Yep. Whoa.
She's beyond groupie. She's full-fledged cult member. <laughs> yeah, look what you started. She says the right things. She's keeping it to herself. But I don't think she's okay. I fucking called it. Haven't I always firefly? I'm telling you, God, but okay. I still think that, and it could be one of those things where like they pissed like the evil spirits off. And so the evil sp it's both things can be true with this story. This chick wants her daughter to stop being promiscuous and fucking around. And so she did this stage, this whole thing. And at the same time, this spirit got involved because it's like, you're not going to act on my behalf. I'll just show you. That's what I'm thinking is happening right now. But I knew, I knew it. Oh no. Oh shit. Get out of there, Spud. Oh shit. Get out of there. All right, that's the end of episode uh, two. Let me uh, stop it before three starts. Okay. Uh, I thought this was a much better episode. Um, the writing, there's those little lines that were said, you know, that, you know, sometimes good people do, you know, scared people do bad things, even the good ones. And then, uh, you know, the speech at the end that, uh, what's her face was, was telling Dylan about, you know, the fly or fall and, you know, you're either happy or hollow. Like, I like those little subtle tie-ins. I like the writing way more Bruce Campbell in this, which is what I've been advocating for. I know we're only two two episodes in. And, I mean, I was tooting my horn right there. I didn't realize that it was coming to an end already, but I called it about the mom. I, like I said, it's got that footloose feel um, where she'll use her daughter because it makes her, it, it inadvertently distances her. People are gonna go, well, she wouldn't kidnap her own daughter. But what it does is it distances her, but at the same time, it's feeding the agenda that she has, which is she wants to kill rock and roll. She wants to kill, you know, the promiscuity. She's obviously a control freak because of the conversation that her daughter had earlier where she was, you know, her friend was like, oh, you still can't watch TV. Like mom is a nut. She's a religious wacko. And by doing what she did is going to feed, you know, make everybody want to tighten their grip on their children, get them into church every Sunday, probably throw out all the TVs if they're, you know, I mean, granted, it's the 80s. So there's probably one, maybe two per house. Um, but I like it because it's got my mind going in a whole bunch of different directions, even though it was a little telegraphed as far as at least for me, the mom uh, being involved. I'm enjoying the, the heck out of this. So. I hope if you're watching this, you're, you like it as much as I do. And I hope that if you aren't subscribed, you click subscribe after today, and then you can join me on the rest of this journey so we can see how this story plays out. That's going to be it for me today. This is Maverick signing off, reminding you to stay classy, stay vigilant, and stay tuned. We'll see you on the next one, everybody.